inviting. It's sometimes missionaries' favorite and sometimes missionaries' least favorite activity. Uh, but my feelings towards inviting has changed kind of over my mission. I started out actually really loving inviting. My trainer and I would go for a few hours every day and, you know, come back home with either no investigators or one or two. And so when I was in the mission, we actually had our mission presidents change. We got a new mission president um, who is currently still serving. And he kind of just revolutionized the way we go inviting. Um, we used to just go door to door, the usual idea people have of missionary work. And in Thailand, there's these big markets and they're all over the place and there's tons of people. So there's also MRTs, I can't think of what they're called, um, but there's just big train, monorail train stations where people will go in and to work and it's a great place to invite. And so I guess the point is that be comfortable stepping outside of, you know, your comfort zone and be willing to talk to everyone. It's kind of neat to see the way missionary work has gone. Um, when I was first a greenie, we had about 70 baptisms a month, averaging from month to month. And this last month, I heard that they had 200 baptisms. And so, um, I guess fall the spirit and what where they tell you to go go to where the crowds are um, present seniors vision is to teach to those who are ready to approach them about baptism and ask them if they've heard of baptism or um, would you like to be clean from your sins or be baptized and I think that that's so true like we need to teach to people who want to hear and not to pry the people to or convince them that they want it but to um, give to the Thai people um, a chance and every opportunity to learn about the Savior.